ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ಭೀರ್ಯಂ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಸವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಯೋ ವಾತದಕ್ಷರ ಗಾರ್ಗ್ಯ ವಿದಿ ಅಸ್ಲೋಕೆ ಜುಹೋತಿ ಯಜತೆ ತಪಸ್ತಪ್ಯತೆ ಬಹೂನಿ ವರ್ಷಸಹಸ್ರಾಣಿ ಅಂತವದೇವಾಸ್ಯತದ್ಭವತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಯು ಡೂ ಯುವರ್ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಲ what do you appreciate where you stand the karmas are always limited and the phalas are perishable and so there is no redemption so there is nothing called moksha um so you know that you be in that that is fine so one should have a proper understanding of that so we were looking at bhashyam ಇತಶ್ಚಾಸ್ತಿ ತದಕ್ಷರಂ ಯಸ್ಮತ್ ತದ್ಜ್ಞಾನೆ ನಿಯತ ಸಂಸಾರೋಪತ್ತಿ ಸಂಸಾರೋಪತ್ತಿ ವಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಭವಿತವ್ಯಂತು ತೇನ ಯದ್ವಿಜ್ಞಾನತ್ ತದ್ವಿಚ್ಛೇದ ನ್ಯಾಯೋಪತ್ತೆ ಸೋ ಬೈ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವುಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂವಸ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೆಲಮಿಟೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸೊ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ವೋಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಬೈ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ದಿ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ that is a nothing or that is existence absolute how would you like to conclude you have to conclude that that by the knowledge of which you become liberated is or should be bhavitavyam that must be because unless it is there by its knowledge how your samsara is going to be uh eliminated therefore um uh, that, that is the nyaya nyayo papatte nyaya is yukti there is a reality and by knowing that reality you will become free what is that reality that reality must be your own swarupa so your swarupa that is the atma must be akshara you see the human being it is amazing how little he knows of himself how little almost nil he knows of himself you see the human being he takes the most absurd statements about himself for the holy truth most absurd statements and then also i tell you as long as you cling to your convictions you will not know the truth your convictions uh, should be put to question you should be able to question your convictions and uh, and also i tell you one more thing it may sound a bit odd eh? but you should be prepared for all such odd statements are you sure of the immediate there is a thing called immediate immediate is an important expression immediate means what you you were uh, being a human being a person a caste creed race religion gender a career family setup 
name, fame, social status, and your religion, your guru, you being a sishya of that guru, and then a system, and you are the follower of that system. So this is the immediate, right? Our gods, our worships, our prayers, this is the immediate. And if you are so sure of your immediate, you do not have any chance of redemption. <laughs> okay? Uh, therefore, you have to know. So, for example, the human being is told that he is the body. That is how you are told. And that is what we take as the gospel truth. And then uh, you were born, you are told that. And therefore you take it as the reality. And I, you will die. I have parents, I was born at a particular place to a set of parents at a particular time. And therefore, this is how we were told and so we take all of that as the holy truth. And not only that, we learn to like what others like. And we learn to hate what others hate. Is it not so? You think about it? So, people will tell you, you have to love this, you have to like this, you go ahead and like it. Same is the case with the hate. You have to hate this, this is bad. Therefore, you go ahead and hate. And you have to fear this, therefore, you go ahead and fear. In India, we are told, you have to fear Kala Sarpa Dosha. There is a thing like that, you have to fear it. Nobody knows what it is. It is a sasthita, kalascha sau sarpascha kala sarpaha, kala sarpascha doshaha, kala sarpa doshaha. That the Sanskrit samasa, its meaning nobody knows. They just pick up this expression kala sarpa dosha from someone. And uh, so somebody said that. Therefore it is the holy truth for me. And uh, so I believe in that. And uh, that somebody told, uh, he never heard the word Kala Sarpa Dosha. Somebody told that word to him, put, put it in his head. And then uh, that somebody told, you have to be afraid of that. Therefore he is afraid of that. I tell you, people, they just don't know. And uh, they do not understand the depth of their ignorance. That is the problem. So, the vastness of that ignorance, they don't understand. And uh, without understanding the reality, without having any sense of the ignorance in which we are living, hundreds of uh, births, uh, even if you continue all kinds of rituals, nothing is going to happen. As long as you remain a creature of heredity and society, Heredity means caste, creed, etc. Society means religion and you believe what the society believes and all that. As long as you remain like that and as long as one lives mem by memory, lives by memory and acts by habits, remains ignorant of himself, he also remains ignorant of his true interests. See, there is a thing called self-interest. Nothing wrong. You want to know what... Uh, you, you want to secure your interest, nothing wrong. But you should know what is your interest. You should know that. What is the self-interest? Making wealth, it is not self-interest. It is the opposite it is. And therefore, people remain ignorant of their interests. And uh, they are ignorant of uh, the right aims, and therefore they, f they pursue the false aims. And no surprise, people are always frustrated. This description, the way I said, is important because here we are talking of tapas, homa, yajna, uh, and dana for, for number of births. All of that is becoming redundant all because of the ignorance of the truth of oneself. That's why the description is important. Then an objection. Objections are always there. When you are sure of the immediate, which is, which is falsehood, then you will certainly have objections for the truth. 
ननू क्रियात एव इति चेन्ना सो तद्विच्छित्ति दट संसार विच्छेद दिस a life a life in this stream continuous stream of pressure and pain and uh, so that samsara a stream of birth and death pressure and pain that is what samsara is so that kind of a life maybe it will come to end by ma- making efforts suppose i build a temple maybe my samsara will come to an end possible you know maybe i do some charity my samsara will come to end it is like that they say they say so no that is not correct why because yova etadaksharam he gargi aviditva avijnaya asmin loke हे गार्गी अस्मिन लोके इन दिस वर्ल्ड यो वा इज नॉट वा वाई इट इज बिकॉज वोवेल इज फॉलोइंग यू नो हु सो एवर इट मे बी हु सो एवर इट इज सो इन दिस वर्ल्ड अस्मिन लोके आर इन दिस बर्थ अस्मिन लोके आर इन दिस बॉडी वन एंड दिस ए काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर वर्ड so in this world in this body in this life so without knowing the truth of oneself that akshara akshara the imperishable you see you are sitting here now in you there is an element which is imperishable and there is an element which is perishing even as you are sitting and examining things it is perishing the body it is perishing and uh, the we take uh, one breath in and one breath out already a bit of our uh, life span is has vanished that is how it is and uh, then uh, the mind it is ever changeful it is ever changeful so now it is happy Uh, it it doesn't take much time or much uh, some special occasion to become unhappy while going on the road somebody says something to you or doesn't uh, wish to you or you want to wish but he is in a hurry and he runs away so you become unhappy that is enough you may be uh, doing great in many many ways somebody who is supposed to wish you did not wish you you are unhappy right away so the people live on the verge of sorrow that is how they live anyway therefore um uh, so your swarupa is akshara so in you there is the changeful that includes the body as well as the mind and what whatever else it is that is the changeful which is perishable and then there is the imperishable in you suppose you do not know the imperishable in you then what happens you take the perishable to be yourself and as you take the perishable to be yourself is there any chance of becoming happy really at all so it cannot happen so you may be very great philanthropist or great ritualist uh, whatever you may be unless you know the truth of the self you are bound to be frustrated you look at the people you look at look and understand you look we are not interested in judging people we are not here uh, making some senses or any such thing look at people people who are making big big rituals you examine them you you look at their uh, what they are are they fulfilled can you see can't you see can't you see that they are not they are as much unfulfilled as all the devotees that throng them can't you see that so when the other guy is unfulfilled how can he make you fulfilled how therefore 
you don't have a chance to get liberated by all these systems, structures, rituals and ceremonies. Ceremonies. Ceremonies would liberate people. What is a ceremony? Why do you need a ceremony in the first place? You must be very empty within to go and dance on the road or elsewhere. So, so how are they going to liberate anybody? Therefore, you should abide in yourself, you should know yourself correctly. There is the imperishable in you that you should know. Without knowing that, so without knowing that, whatever you do, very good things only you do, whatever you do, like what Juhoti performs homas, yajyate performs big rituals, tapastapyate performs great austerities, yadyapi bahuni varsha sahasrani. So all these things people perform even for not one life, they may do for hundreds of lives or even thousands of lives. So what happens is, antavadevasya takphalam bhavati. This is called a zero-sum game. That is the name given to it. Zero-sum game. I would like to give an illustration. You tell me I gave the correct illustration or not. If you say it is not correct, I will do a namaskara and I withdraw my illustration. I don't have an agenda to be pushed forward towards you. So, you have a passbook, you know, in India we have. If you have an account in bank, there will be a passbook. And the passbook will have number, serial number, description, credit, debit, balance. The five columns will be there. On some 30 pages possible, he will give to you. And those 30 pages are exhausted, you get one more, and then one more. Suppose now you put all the three possible before you. What does it prove to you? You are putting some money, taking out some money, putting some money, taking out, putting, taking out, putting, 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 taking, 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 again putting, again taking, etc., etc., etc. And by the time you come to the end, you don't have any, any work to mention money in that. This is called zero-sum game. So, that is what life is. Our passbook is an index of our, our lot. Suppose you, you leave some good amount in the passbook, what will happen to it? You see, when the person dies, they wait for a, for a reasonable time. Well, it should not look bad, you know. They wait for a reasonable time, a day or two, or maybe three day days they wait. And then the small inquiry, he will scratch the next person. Death certificate kaha milta hai? You need a death certificate. So where will we get it? Yeah, we can get it. I know the MRO, Mandal Revenue. So he got the information. So he is a bit, at, is a bit, uh, some solace to him. And then you, you start crying about the person departed, you continue, that, that need not stop, you know. That can continue. And uh, they don't even wait for eleven days, I tell you, they will get hold of a death certificate. Death certificate, you have to bribe the fellow. And you give him some bribe. So much expenditure at the time of death, some more. And get the death certificate and keep it. And then uh, submit it to the bank fellow. He will say, come after one week. This is India. <laughs> so go after one week. And uh, with some, uh, they will ask a few questions. He will ask a few questions. For some reason. Nothing is clean. Nothing is straightforward. It is all very crooked thing it is. To go through all that and they give something to him if you have to. Depends upon the amount that you have to get out of the bank and grab it over. For that fellow, it is a zero-sum game. The karmas are also like that. No difference. Because antavade vasya tatphalam bhavati. So, this is what is called, it is called like that in the Shastra, it is called like that. 
I am not saying, I don't say anything. Who am I? I don't say anything. I am a wanderer. Karma ninda. It is called. In Bhagavata Manda also, it is called karma ninda. In Sanskrit, ninda means not abusive words or any such thing. It is a censure. You censure what needs to be censured. So you have to do that. Because otherwise you will never come to the truth. Therefore, tat phalam antavade vasya tat phalam bhavati. That karma phala will remain antavat. For the person who is performing it, it will perish. Continuously you produce karmas, continuously they perish. Tat phalopa bhogante kshiyante eva asya karmani. You see, we are not really speaking, we are not denigrating anything. The karma has its value, in its place it is good, it gives the result. The result is limited and as you enjoy the result, it gets exhausted. That's it. That is like the credit card. If you put the credit card there, you swipe. Within 30 seconds, a process takes place. The process is whether there is enough money in his account. And it says approved. That is like that. It has to happen like that. Approved. If it is not approved, the McDonald guy will not give you tea even. Sixty cents tea also he will not give you. It has to be approved. It has to be approved. The karma phala is like that. So, it continues to get exhausted and you have to do some more karmas. Then, one more vakya, mantra, Yova eta daksharam gargi aviditva asmal lokat praiti sakrupanaham. So that is the mantra. Hey gargi, whosoever it is. So asmat lokat praiti. Loka is sharira. From this body, praiti. So he dies. How he dies? Aviditva. In him, there is the perishable and there is the imperishable. He should know that the perishable is not his Swarupa. He should know that. So, um, you see, uh, you have to know the false as the false. That is what you have to do. So, body-mind is not the Atma. And uh, that is, uh, by mistake, it is taken as Atma, and therefore you should know that. In fact, uh, um, the Akshara, what we are calling, uh, you should not uh, understand, you should not think that it is something away from you or any such thing. That Akshara, that Atma is the truth, as we have seen just now, it is the result, it is not the result of an effort, it is not the result of an effort. And also, it is not the end of a road. This mistake what people should not do. It is not the end of a road. Like we have a, a course, one year course, or six months, or one week, or one month, and at the end of the course we will get that. That is called the end of the road. It is not the end of a road, and it is here and now. And uh, where? You see, where is the Akshara Paramatma? Uh, so you may wonder where it is, here and now. You see, it is in your longing for it and in your search for it. Are you longing for it or are you comfortable with the immediate? If you are comfortable with the immediate, there is no longing. You may say, no, no, we are longing very much for it, you may say. But you, you should know better than what I say. So, if you are so comfortable with the immediate and you are complacent about uh, that truth, it will come in its time because uh, things are cozy and comfortable. So, this is what is called fringe spirituality. So, in such a situation, there is no longing for it. Suppose you have 
an extraordinary longing for it. In that longing, Akshara Paramatma is there. In that search for the truth, Akshara Parabrahma is there. And then the Akshara, Akshara, the reality is nearer to you than the mind and the body. Body and mind and body are external to you. Whereas Akshara Parabrahma is nearer to you than the mind and the body. And therefore, you do not see it or you do not realize it because you look for it far away from yourself. You make that mistake. So somehow, Brahma, Atma, Akshara, God, and so you have to do Yajna, or you have to do austerity. So like that, you are looking for it away from you. This is Kanthakata Chami Karanyaya. The necklace is in the neck, but the lady is searching for the necklace all over the palace. She will not get it. She will never get it, really speaking, because she is looking for, for it far away from herself. And uh, so you are looking for the Atma outside of your innermost being. There you are looking. You are not looking in, in your innermost being. You are looking for it outside of your innermost being. In the books it will be there. Or some gentleman, you, you called Guru, he has it. Means what? It is outside of you. If Guru has it, it is outside of you. You understand in the right spirit. I need to say what I need to say. So, Guru doesn't have it. You have it. Guru shows it, the finger. Guru is the pointing finger. Guru is not a person. Guru is the pointing finger. And so, he doesn't have it to give it to you on a platter. It is not a piece of property to be inherited by somebody and given by somebody else. So, you have it. And it is in your innermost being. You see, you are looking for it. As long as you are looking for it, assuming that you are looking for it, you are looking for it, you are objectifying it. And as long as you objectify it, it remains, it remains unknown. And uh, uh, so, you are stuck with your thoughts, your convictions, your notions and ideas, and your immediate, which is always perishing and perishable. Therefore, whole life goes, in spite of our uh, claims and uh, in spite of our uh, rituals, our ceremonies and our austerities and our charities, the person dies. Everybody dies for that matter. So, the person dies. Without knowing the truth, he dies. Praiti, a small loka, the praiti. So, so what happens then? Uh, so, sakrupanaha. That person is called Krupanaha. Here I have a Thikakara. He says, Saha Karmi. Kya karam. So that Karmi, Saha, he doesn't allow me to move forward. Uh, saha Krupanaha, he is Krupana. What is he? Karmi. So the ritualist is a Krupana. Krupana means what? Dinaha. He is Dina. Dinaha. Pani Krata Dasavati. Svakrata karma phalasyai vabhokta. What is dinaha? He is dinaha means he is like a wage earner. A wage earning person, he gets the wage exactly according to his, his service rendered by him. Exactly according to whatever he gave. The wage earning person is like that. I have seen uh, in these countries, in the advanced societies like America, Canada, Europe, they are very courteous, very courteous. But suppose you have to pay one dollar sixty-seven cents. He won't. Uh, he won't uh, settle for anything less than that. He has to get one dollar sixty-seven cents and put it into the box in its uh, slots. And then click, then only the bill will come. 
then only he will put the coffee box in your hand. <laughs> Very clear. Very ruthless efficiency, I tell you. Ruthless efficiency. It appeared to me like that. So, once I said, I don't have enough change. The person said, how close are you? <laughs> Very clear. So, I said one cent less. Okay, I can do with it. Give. And then he has a few cents sitting there. And took one from there and put in the slot. And then, taka 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 taka, the paper came. And then only I got my cup of coffee. Otherwise, no. No. Ruthless it is. Ruthless efficiency. In India, they are not the courteous. In fact, he will, he will be frowning on your face. Kya kya ye? Bolo. Like that he will be very, he is very unhappy that you have come near him. <laughs> In fact, he is sitting for you, but uh, right away he shows his displeasure to look at your face. A cup of coffee, give paisa, one rupee I have to give, I gave you eighty paisa. What is this? Eighty paisa is there, chalo. No, no, I have only this much. Why, what happened to you? I don't have the other twenty paisa. But you want to drink the coffee, yeah. I want to drink the coffee. Chalo, you stand there. Oh, next. So another customer is waiting. So he settles that customer and he pays the amount. So he settles him and then he prepares a coffee and puts in hand, go. Amazing. Because he doesn't have that ruthless efficiency in him. That machine he doesn't have. Here the, the person is just an extension of that machine. He is not a person anymore. He is extension of that machine. Whereas in India he is a person and he doesn't have time or energy for these false pretensions of courtesy and all that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the world and your karma is like that. It is exactly like that. Pani Kruta Dasavat. You are paid the money. Come and work. Dasa is the servant. That is how the karma operates. You should know that. Uh, therefore, you don't ask all these things uh, to a karmi. He will tell karma is wonderful. He will, he will, so he will uh, embellish it. So, uh, uh, pushpa, uh, there is a Gita sentence. So, he, he makes it look like a flower. So, Veda Vadarata Partha Nanya Rasti Tivadinari. Yami Mam Pushpitam Vacham Pravadanti Avipaschitaha. He tells you a walk. This karma will take you heaven, this, that, it will make you happy, it will be, give you children, this and that. The children will flourish like left and right, they will go up, this and that. He will tell. It is all Pushpitam Vacham Pravadan Avipaschitaha. Ye nahi hai. They don't have this. They say like that. And it is only Pushpitam Vacham, not Natu Phalitam Vacham. Okay. <laughs> it is only Pushpa, no Phala in it. <laughs> flower, you cannot eat the flower, you know. No, no, look at it, how beautiful it is, but I am hungry. Chelo Pa. Therefore, this is how, therefore, the idea is, you, you should develop or you should get into that uh, extraordinary longing for the truth. You should not get caught in your convictions, ideas, notions and the fixations and the imaginations. You should not get caught in all that. There is no truth in all that. In spite of your uh, protestations, there is no reality in all that. You should get that one big longing for the truth, then it is, it is in you, nearer to you than body, mind and body. It is in your own innermost being. Apicham yad vijnanat karpanyat yayaha 
see we talked about karpanya means slavery or wretchedness that is the karpanya and you want to get rid of that karpanya karpanya atyaya that's why we described it because we don't want to blame something it is like a shoot and run that is not what we are doing shoot and run so it is that expression is there in indian political scene so this politician comes and tells he is a corrupt man he has eaten away so much money of the government and like that he makes a statement uh, against a, a politician and he runs away from there he won't to stand there to answer how why how can we overcome so this is called shoot and run we don't do like that <laughs> so we of course we are shooting the karma the kamya karma i mean not nitya karma we are the karma that takes you to the jnana we don't have anything against it in fact we embrace it but the kamya karma uh, that is our uh, bread and butter i tell you so we do that all the time uh, so we don't shoot and run we we say this is the karpanya how to get rid of it karpanya atyaya yad vijnana samsara vichheda so by the knowledge of that uh, akshara there is vichheda for the samsara that is same as karpanya atyaya the expression karpanya atyaya is explained further as samsara vichheda so this uh, flow of samsara this is a cycle of pleasure and pain birth and death that it is samsara that comes to an end i mean the process this is slavery also comes to an end by knowing that aksharam yad vijnana bhavacha karma krut krupana suppose you don't have the realization of that of that truth you see it vijnana it is said that you can say knowledge knowledge of the truth but then you use the word knowledge fine but knowledge is not like ghata jnana pata jnana etc that is not the knowledge suppose i know sanskrit and therefore i by heart all this and it is sitting in my head can you call that knowledge no no way so realization or wisdom the knowledge should be translated as the wisdom that deep inner understanding it must become knowledge in action so atma is atma is ananda swarupa that ananda should express as love etc etc anyway therefore by that knowledge of that uh, reality um, so there is uh, samsara vichheda and in the absence of the knowledge yad vijnana bhavacha karma krut krupana so he will be doing karmas what else he will do laukik karmas and vaidik karmas what is the difference a person who never goes to a temple what will he do he also performs karmas only the worldly karmas he will be doing a person who is going uh, visiting the temple often what what he will do some laukik karmas anyway he does, he performs some vaidik karmas also he will perform some puja etc doesn't make much difference i tell you essential difference it will not make within that samsara some difference it makes like in manhattan somebody is making 10000 dollars per month somebody else is making 7000 dollars per month that kind of a difference it will make within that okay krota phalasya iva upabhokta so this karmi who doesn't have the knowledge of the self he is krupana ha he is wretched why you call him wretched because he can only enjoy that much krata phalasya iva upabhokta whatever actions he has performed the 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 pleasure that he gets is commensurate uh, to those actions that is krata phalasya iva swakrata karma phalasya whatever karma he performed commensurate to that some phala he will get suppose we all go to heaven in the heaven one will be given a two bedroom flat one has to stay in a one bedroom one one room studio 
somebody else lives in a palatial building of five bedrooms in heaven. So like that. That means what? There also there will be comparison, competition, jealousy, ambition, everything will be there. Itna hi baat hai. So it will be like that. That is one issue. And one more issue, janana marana prabandha rudhas samsarati. Arudhaha means who has climbed on to, you climb on to something. There is a wheel, you know, if you go to Hershey, there is Hershey factories there nearby. If you go in a, in a town, there, there is a wheel. And so you purchase a ticket, three dollars, and sit on the wheel. Sit, you enter into that uh, thing. And somebody will uh, bind you there. He, he, he will lock it. Uh, so obviously he is locking you there. You, you should know that uh, you are there. <laughs> you should know. So I was asked, hey, Swami, come, sit in this wheel. I said, no. Because this wheel reminds me of the samsara chakra. So for God's sake, not for me. Okay, I was standing there. And that two, five, three dollars or five dollars I have saved also. Anyway, I, so they all sat in the wheel. And some of them, which is nothing wrong in it, and so the, they sat in the wheel. They are at the ground level. And now the wheel went up. They went up. And having gone up, they wish me from the hey, so I will like that. <laughs> I did not wish that. Because uh, what is there to wish? <laughs> what is that? And then they, they came down and went up, came down. Exactly three minutes, one minute per dollar. So gaya. And he opened it and you come out. That wheel is called prabandha, a mechanical device, or udhaha, you, you climb onto it, and janana marana. Down is janana, up is marana. Or maybe up is janana, down is marana. You can add sukha dukha also. Then, next vakya. Okay, continuation. Tadasti aksharam prashasitru. That Akshara Parabrahma, who is the overlord of all this creation and which is the soul of this entire universe, which also happens to be your own soul, Asti. Tade Taduchyate. That is the point which is made here. Tat etat uchyate. Tat. What is Tat? Akshara Ajnanam. The ignorance of that akshara makes you a kropana, a wretched individual. Ignorance. Etat. So, by realizing that akshara, the kropana, the wretchedness, is destroyed. Tat etat aksharam. Uchyate. That is being said. How? Yova etat aksharam gargi. Aviditva asmal lokat praiti sakrupanaham. So, with whosoever dies from this body, goes up from this body, asmat lokat praiti, or from this world. So, whosoever dies without knowing the akshara, sahakrupanaham, he is the, uh, he is the wretched person, an unhappy person. So Shankara, Panakrita Ivada Sadihi. Pana is Mulya. So for one day's work, how much time, how much you will take? I'll take 150 rupees. Okay, come, start. Start digging. And at the end of the eight hours, the proper work is done. The, the master will come and he gives 150 rupees. Go. Panakrita ha dasadiriva. That is our life. By doing karmas, that is how we end up. That is the wretchedness associated with kamya karmas without the knowledge of the Brahman. Then again you come to the mantra. Finally, ya etadaksharangargi viditva asmal lokat praiti 
sabrahmana now in contrast to that now the positive thing the message the teaching is always in the form of negative and positive there will be a negative and there will be a positive negative nishedhan anvaya negative means you don't misunderstand that expression negative nishedha whosoever doesn't know saha krupana positive whosoever knows saha brahmana now positive comes this is how in gita also everywhere you will have anvaya nishedha everywhere you will have mostly and also mostly negative comes first and then anvaya comes you can see here for example now the positive thing so oh gargi eh gargi whosoever knows this brahman viditva asmal lokat praiti the idea is not about dying the idea is about knowing before death overtakes that way you have to look at it or so we have to die only after knowing that is not the point you should know before dying okay <laughs> the focus should be correct so he gargi this aksharam this param brahma which is the uh, which is the truth and you should know it so viditva so विदिवाने अहम ब्रह्मेव सो यू शुड रियलाइज दट अक्षर पर ब्रह्म इन युवर इनर मोस्ट बीइंग दट इज विदिवा नाट दट देर इज ब्रह्म अंड दट ब्रह्म इज सुपीरियर अंड बै नोइंग इट वन बिकम से ज्ञानी नाट दट कैंड ऑफ विदिवा सो यू शुड नो इट हेज युवर इनर मोस्ट बीइंग you realize you see the realization it is a, it is a big thing no doubt about it it is a big thing it's an explosion true but it expresses in the smallest of your movements you know that that is its beauty it is a big thing then you need not worry about these smaller things how in which shape they are let them be what they are the big thing if it has to come it will come it is not like that it is a big thing it is an explosion but it is no one here and it is not the end of a road it can be expressed in the smallest of your aspects of life like instead of becoming irritated unhappy angry etc you remain in harmony in the face of provocation in that harmony it's a small thing the other person has provocated for no reason but you remain in harmony it is a very small thing that harmony lasts according to the context it lasts for uh, say 3 4 minutes but you could retain that harmony in that harmony the akshara par brahma is reflecting therefore you have to understand very correctly is the smallest of your actions and your words and your thoughts contributes to that realization therefore it is a, a process and also at the same time it's an explosion it is gradual and also at the same time it is instant like the fruit falling the fruit falls instantly but then it matures gradually so like that in fact the word sudden and gradual are based on the idea of time the vastu is timeless that is also another issue involved anyway therefore by knowing Uh, that reality so what happens a small lokat praiti and so before dying one knows so from this body he leaves this body then what happens a saha brahmanaha brahmanaha means jivan muktaha ityarthaha brahmi bhutaha brahma bhavati ityarthaha one who has become one with brahman that is the brahmanaha it is not a caste appellation एनीवे भाष्य अथ यदक्षर गागी विदि अस्मा लोकात्ईती स 
सब्राह्मण सो हे गार्गी उस एवर नोस दिस रियालिटी सो हू रियलाइजेस रितवा मीन्स रियलाइजेशन सो दट मीन्स वॉट बिकॉज द वर्ड नॉलेज यू शुड नॉट शुड बी मिस अंडरस्टूड इट कुड बी मिस अंडरस्टूड यू नो माइंड माइंड इज ए स्टोर हाउस ऑफ नॉलेज राइट माइंड इज ए स्टोर हाउस ऑफ नॉलेज वॉट नॉलेज नॉलेज जब दी इमीडिएट दट इज द स्टोर हाउस you won't have it there you see to know that immediate is nothing you are already in the intimation of the truth you just sit and visualize the immediate and see it is all false unreal in doing so you are already in communion with the reality so you have to look for the truth beyond the mind not inside the mind in fact i tell you any state of mind cannot last in time suppose you know newton's law suppose that is a state of mind somebody teach not it uh it, it is a, for a student it is difficult binomial theorem it is difficult some such a theorem it is difficult and then uh, the teacher explained it well and now you know it so i know it what is that i know binomial theorem what is that it is a state of mind is it not so and that state of mind will not last long i mean what i mean is You, you you ignore it and go for something else or eventually you forget it that is how these states of mind are and therefore in space and time there is always a limit because space and time themselves are limited and whatever is in space and time it is always it is always limited therefore um you have to uh, know that the space and the time do not measure the truth they cannot measure the truth so you have to go beyond the space and time and that is what is called viditva you may call it knowledge if you wish it is called like that what else will you do some some word or the other you have to use and so while using the word it's a, it's a connotation you should be clear about that is the meaning of viditva asmal lokat praiti the idea is before giving up this body he knows saha brahmana hari teka kara says muksham brahmanyam prakatayati there is a caste called brahmana in india so he is the brahma is that what you are talking about he, he belongs to the brahmana caste aisa hai kya no that is gona brahmanyam so a mahatma is there he used to say my father was a great brahman like that he used to say sir what about you i am not my father was a great <laughs> so like that so rat that kind of, so he means his father was a realized soul that is what he was saying i am not a brahman yet like that he used to say so we are looking at that kind of brahmanyam wonderful we finished that mantra we'll we'll do some more time another 10 minutes sir ganeshan ji tadva etadaksharam gargi adrishtan drashtru ashrutam shrotru so shankara puts the mantra in the right perspective what is called avatarika So let us say the avatarika agnir dahana prakashakatvavat swabhavikam asya prashastrutvam achetanasyaiva you see this prashastru or prashasitru both you say just for that that which commands the entire universe 
లైక్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ ప్రెసెంటెడ్ ది అక్షర పరం బ్రహ్మ నాట్ ఇన్ ది బిగినింగ్ ఇన్ ది బిగినింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆ స్థూలం అనడం ఎక్సెట్రా బట్ వీ వాంటెడ్ ఎ లింగ అనుమాన సో ఫర్ ది అనుమాన వాట్ ఈస్ ది మెథడ్ అడాప్టెడ్ సో దిస్ యూనివర్స్ ఈజ్ కమాండెడ్ అండ్ కంట్రోల్డ్ అండ్ హెల్డ్ ఇన్ ప్లేస్ బై ఎ బై ఎ పవర్ అండ్ దట్ పవర్ ఈజ్ దేర్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ దేర్ and therefore that power becomes the linga for the brahman that is how we have said and we have also considered that instead of saying akshara brahma is the origin of the entire creation you can also say the shunya is the origin because all descriptions like ashabdam asparsham arupam etc applies to shunya as much as they apply to akshara brahma that we have that kind of an objection we have set aside by saying akshara brahma asti how agama pratishruti anumana and arthapatti okay now okay asti to hai asti but uh, no need for that to be chetanam it could be jalam we agree that it is asti but it need not be sentient the brahma could be jala insentient like for example fire you see fire fire it illuminates prakashakatvam is there and also it heats up and it burns dahana it is dahana so so much power is there for the fire yet it is jada fire is jada ఫైర్ అధిష్టాన దేవత ఈజ్ చైతన బట్ ఫైర్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ జడ వాయు ఈజ్ జడ సిమిలర్లీ దిస్ ఎంటైర్ యూనివర్స్ వెరీ న్యాచురల్లీ కమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎ సోర్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ జడ ఏకేవే నేమ్ టు ఇట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ప్రధానం ద సాంఖ్యాస్ అండ్ దిస్ ప్రధానం ఈజ్ ఇట్ హెవీ ఆర్ వెరీ సెటిల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నేదర్ హెవీ నార్ సెటిల్ అస్థూలం అనను is it long or short ahraswam adirgham is it red or yellow neither yellow nor red so all your descriptions will apply to pradhanam also therefore we have already negated the shunya vada but the pradhana vada comes forth and so that it, it, so achetanasya prashastrutvam achetanasya so this universe is under the command of an insentient source which is called pradhana it is like in modern cosmology what is the origin of the universe big bang of what big bang of what a primordial vilam of energy that is achetana only you know something like that sankhyas were talking that language the difference between sankhyas and the present cosmologists there is a difference the difference is that pradhana is jada but this big bang is intelligent there is a book called intelligent universe by fred hoyle so it's an intelligent big bang that means what it has elements of the jada that is the big bang and it has elements of the chetana that is the intelligent so like that they totally do not discard the chetana whereas sankhyas they have discarded chetana totally they were putting all their emphasis on the jada insentient thing that is called pradhana okay therefore that pradhana could be akshara para brahma yeah that, that kind of a doubt could be there ityata aha therefore the shruti is answering that question he gargi etat aksharam tat etat aksharam that this i have already explained that this so that this akshara aksharam the reality which is called aksharam you see it is adrushtam true it is not something which is visible to the eyes any object will be visible to the eyes it is not some such object which is visible 
may be it is a thought thought is also visible every state of mind is visible visible means to the sakshi it is visible may be it is like that no it is a, it is not visible even to the sakshi because it happens to be the very essence of the sakshi therefore it is not visible to the sakshi it is not visible to the eyes or mind whatever or you can simply say adrishtam it is not an object which is visible like every other object like ghata pata etc but drashtru it is the one which sees adrishtam drashtru now aksharam is that which sees means now you tell me is it chetana or jada it is chetana okay so bhashyakara tadva etad aksharam gargi adrishtam nake na chidrishtam so o gargi that this aksharam is adrishtam so that this aksharam means what so asthulam ananu ahraswam etc it was described by total negation and when everything is negated the immediate is negated and by doing so the body mind and the immediate everything gets negated and you abide in your innermost being that is the aksharam that is the way we have to arrive at that aksharam so that this aksharam he gargi adrishtam na ke na chidrishtam some people say we are we don't know brahman we have not seen brahman but our guru ji has seen brahman so so if your guru has seen brahman then uh, that is not brahman he is the guru all right but that is not brahman that is one point is proved second point your guru has seen but you have not seen means you are not a shishya two things are proved now <laughs> what kind of shishya it is so what he has seen is not brahman and you are not a shishya what mentioning so i saw that people have all kinds of uh, notions and convictions they are burdened by them they suffer because of them but still ajnanam is like that ajnana makes everything happen make ena chitrashtam why not drashtam avishayatvat it is an object it is not an object of mind i told you so it is avishaya you know so uh, it is not uh, uh, it is not an object to be seen by the uh, ears and uh, eyes or uh, to be known by the ears and eyes or it is not an object to be conceived by the mind or even it is not a state of mind a state of mind you see a state of mind means uh, suppose when you are dancing etc they do that so they take a name and dance and uh, so when you are doing that because of that intense movement of the limbs you reach a state of mind which is thoughtless mind becomes thoughtless a thoughtless state of mind you reach how long will it last till you start sweating because once you start sweating and your energy is over and now you stop dancing further and go and sit in the chair then you will mind will come back therefore the state of mind called thoughtlessness was there for 5 minutes so that state of mind is not brahman so avishayatva it is not an object that is that is what i was saying you should not try to objectify it so you do not see it because you are looking away from you i said it in the same class i am repeating it avishayatvat you are looking for it away from yourself outside your innermost being in fact i would take one more step as long as you are looking for it you don't get it that's why i will take make a statement brahman cannot be realized by those who seek it but only seekers will realize brahman <laughs> you got it 
or you think I am saying some silly statement? Did you understand what I said? Thank you. So, avishayatva, svayantu drashtru. But Brahma in itself, it is the drashta. It is, Brahma is the drashta means what? It is coming, nanyadatos the drashtru. It is coming. So, how it sees? It is the one which sees, the seer. What does it mean? Drishtisvarupatvat. It is the seer in the sense that it is the essential content of seeing. What is seeing? Seeing, I, I tell you how, how to build it up. Seeing. What is seeing? Seeing is knowing. Okay? Seeing is nothing but knowing. You know the form. That is called seeing. Seeing is knowing. What is knowing? What is the essence of knowing? Knowing, knowing what? Knowing part. Forget about part. Part is not real. Part is not real. What you know is not real. That you know is real. Therefore, forget about part, part, etc. You went to the cinema and came back. What is real now? Cinema, the entire movie is unreal. That you have enjoyed a movie alone is real. Therefore, knowing is real. Known is unreal. Knower is also unreal. Over the body identified ego is also unreal. Knowing alone is real. What is the essence of knowing? What is the content of knowing? Neither the known nor the knower. The content of knowing is knowingness. The awareness of Salyot. That is what is called Drashtru. It is called Drashtru in this context. Ashrutam, Shrotram. You cannot hear Brahman. You cannot listen to Brahman. Sometimes uh, they say, I am listening to some sounds. You know what does it mean? You have to consult a, a, a neurologist. Really. Really, because sometimes it happens. So you hear sounds. It is very unnatural, you know. You look around if there are any sounds. Maybe I made a mistake. There are sounds, but I could not look at them. But it is happening again and again. I am hearing some sounds. Uh, some as if some breeze is blowing, that kind of a sound I am hearing. Uh, so, uh, if there's some really some breeze is, breeze is blowing, which is fine. But uh, I am hearing those sounds all the time. You have to go to a ENT specialist. <laughs> there are such cases. So, anyway, uh, the point is, uh, Ashrutam. Therefore, you cannot, uh, you listen to something and that something is, I listened to Brahman. And so, some people believe, you, you close the ears like that, then you don't hear any outward sound, but you hear an inner sound, <laughs> you can hear. Some, some kind of a very special sound you hear. And they say, that is Brahman. No, <laughs> that is not Brahman. <laughs> that is some, some nervous movement it is. Some nervous uh, movement. And that nervous movement, that nervous system is, uh, is uh, affected in, by closing this way. And that effect is felt like a sound. It is interpreted by the brain as a, some funny sound. Nothing more than that. It is not Brahman. So, Ashrutam. Then what is Brahman? Shrotram. It is the one which listens to. Again, I would point out that what you hear is unreal. I am Ghataha. Then is it real or unreal? It is unreal, Appa. Did you not hear? Murtiketyeva Satyam. Therefore, I am Ghataha is unreal. But that you hear is real. The entire content of the dream is unreal. But that you have dreamt is real. Therefore, that you hear is real. And uh, the ego which assumes that it, is, that it was hearing is also unreal. You see, you need not say that. The moment the seen is unreal, the seer becomes unreal. It is like you give a coin to somebody. You say, oh, this head of this coin seems to be fake. Uh, 
Uh, therefore, uh, he gives back. He can examine the tail, no, no need to examine. Once the head is found to be fake, the tail is also fake. So the scene is uh, unreal. You need not say the egoic seer is uh, real or unreal. You need not consider it. Therefore, this is the fact. That you see is the truth. What you see is entirely unreal. That you see is the truth. Seeing. Similarly, hearing. The content of hearing, the essential content of hearing is Brahman. That is, that is the Akshara Parabrahma. He says, Tatha Ashrutam Shrotra Vishayatvat it is a vishaya, it is not an object of shrotram, therefore it is called ashrutam. Svayam shrotru, shrutisvaru patvat, om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate, purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate, om shanti 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 hi.